What's up internet? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add physics into your game so we can go from this to this. We're going to go to the Nexus Mods website. The first mod you're going to need is called Faster HDT SMP. This is the mod that's going to enable physics in your game. Let's check the requirements. You're going to need a skeleton, SKSC. I already have both. So let's go ahead and download it. Under main files, this is the file we want here. The anniversary edition one. I'm going to go ahead and download it. Once the download is complete, let's search for it. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. You can go ahead and read the descriptions. We're going to choose anniversary edition. If you want the CUDA version, make sure you change the config.xml file. We're not going to bother with that. I'm going to just choose not CUDA. Below that, you're going to find AVX. What is AVX? AVX is a advanced vector extension. Most CPUs from 2011 onward should support it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this guy right here. And we're going to leave debug alone. We're going to press next. Finish. Now, some of you may be wondering why are we using faster HDT SMP versus just the regular HDT SMP? Well, there's a couple of reasons. If you go to the files page, you're going to notice that this mod does not work for anniversary edition. Secondly, the faster version of the same mod, it's just an improved version. If you read the description here, this mod massively improved the performance over the original mod. All right, with this enabled, let's go add some physics to our game. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add body physics. So for those of you who want your female character to have a little bit of a bounce, this is the mod. The mod is called CBBE3BA. In order for this mod to work, you're going to need to be using the CBBE base body. Make sure you got all of these requirements, right? So here we go, CBBE. This guy right here, we're going to right click on it and open it. It's telling us that we need HDT SMP, but we really don't need this because we had already downloaded the faster version of it. And then we're going to need this guy. How do you pronounce this? Papyrus U2. <laughs> Let's get the main file. And under optional files, you may want to download this guy too. Because if you want to change or reconfigure the physics, you don't have to do the full install of the mod. Download this guy. Download the optional file. Alright, next we have to download this requirement. It's called CBPC. Now this mod is very similar to our faster HDT mod. But it's a little bit scaled down. And it only adds physics to the body. So let's check the requirements. It's telling us here it either needs finesse or nemesis. SKSE and then the skeleton. So we already have all of them. Go to the files page and then let's get the main file. Another requirement we're going to need to meet is this guy right here. Make sure you meet all the requirements. So we already have this. We're going to download the AE version. After everything is downloaded, we're going to install this guy first. Here it is. Install it. Then we'll install CBPC next. Here it is. Activate it. We're going to choose Special Edition. It'll work just fine. So we're going to choose the latest version here. This is actually the Anniversary Edition version. I'm going to choose Slim. <laughs> Alright, so how much bounce do you need? So we're going to pick 7. Gravity. Oh yes, let's do it. Let's install Gravity as well. Now we are ready to add our 3BA body. And here it is. Let's activate it. So we're going to install the base install and the pre-built body mesh. Click next. So make sure this is checked. And then we're going to choose balanced. On this page here, the full SMP version is going to be really taxing on your computer. So I really don't recommend it. For me, this first light option is the best in my opinion. So I'm going to pick that. I like this option here because the movement changes depending on the weight. And under collision, we're going to also choose the first option here. I do want realism, so we do want gravity. And then even more gravity. Let's go. <laughs> and this option here will add push-up effects based on your outfit. 
Next is the belly physics. I'm going to choose the first option. We have the gluteus maximus settings. We're going to choose the first one. Same thing for the legs. All right, here I'm going to choose the realistic option. And below it, you can choose the appropriate breast size. Next, we have settings for SOS. I don't have that, so I'm going to click no SOS. You can select the color here, whichever you prefer. I recommend checking this patch right here. It'll fix the bronze shine bug. If you have flower girls, you check this, but I don't, so I won't add it. And under race menu, we do want the 3BA morph sliders. And then click finish. All right, we're going to overwrite CBBE. Yes, Sumat. We're going to also overwrite CBPC. After 3BA has been installed, you're going to need to launch body slide. So we're going to have to build our bodies now. So make sure everything is clear here and then go to batch build because we need to rebuild everything. Make sure everything is selected and then we're going to press build. Under this box right here, make sure you choose the CBBE, 3BBB, body amazing. Man, that's a mouthful. Choose this option right here for the feet, 3BBE for the hands. And now everything else, make sure you choose physics. So these are the vanilla outfits. If you don't choose the physics version of it, then your body physics will not show through the outfits. Right, after you're done, click OK. We're going to launch Nemesis next. Update engine. And then launch it. And last but not least, make sure you run loot. In the game, as you can see here, as I move my character, you see the bounce is working. Oh. <laughs> well, this is great, but what about the hair? The hair is still pretty stiff, so let's add some hair with physics. The hair mod we want is called KS Hairdo's HDTSMP Physics. Checking the requirements, so it's going to require HDTSMP which we already have. And then race menu, we already have that as well. SKSE, let's download this bad boy. All right, let's go ahead and activate it. There's a nice little tip here. It's telling us that we have to use body slide if we want collision. And under options, there's wigs here. So I do like that. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. You don't have to if you don't want to. We're gonna choose CBBE for wigs collision. Finish. If you already have body slide opened, make sure you go to the outfit filter, drop down menu, and then press refresh outfits. And we're going to type in KS in our filter. In the drop down menu here, you're going to see everything that's related to KS here. Click batch build. We're going to go build. Make sure everything is selected under CBBE. All right, we're good to go. Click OK. This may not be necessary, but I like to run Nemesis after I add or remove any physics-based mods. Let's run loot. Hit apply. If you already have a game going and you want to change the hair of your character, make sure your character is facing away from the screen and then hit the tilde key, which is the left key to the number one key on your keyboard. And then we're going to type in show raise menu. Hit enter. And this is why you want to face your character away from the screen at first is because now we can see that our character is facing the screen. Hit the tilde key again, go to here, and then slide it all the way to the right. And then if you use A or D to go back and forth, you're going to see on the lower right side of your screen the names of the KS here, dude. It should have an SMP at the end. So all of these are physics based here. Okay, let's test this one. Hit R when you're done. Click OK. Our hair is flowing. <laughs> How cool is that? What do you say we add an outfit with physics built in? Like this one, for example. You may be wondering, how do you know which outfit supports SMP physics? Well, there's two ways to find out. One is in the description. Right here is telling you the outfit and earrings comes with HDT SMP support. Or you can search for it. You can put in CBBE SMP. Hit enter. And oftentimes it's going to be in the title of the mod. So right here is going to tell you that this outfit has HDT SMP physics. So this outfit is called Coco Bloom Youth. Make sure you meet all of the requirements. 
Now under offsite requirements, you're going to see something called heel sound. This might add the clicking heel sound as your character walk around. Personally, I think the sound makes the game feel a little more realistic. So I'm going to download it. It's going to take you to this media fire web page. Download it. We're going to just drag and drop this file into our manager. So here it is. We're going to activate it. We're going to download the CBBE version. And under optional files, we also want the CBBE body slides. Download both of them. Now we're ready to add the Bloom Youth outfit. Activate the main file first. Then you want to activate the body slide files. Open up body slide, refresh outfit, and then type in youth. Here we go. This is all of the outfit parts. Click on batch build. Okay. I'm going to run Nemesis. Run loot. Let's retrieve our outfit in the game. Press F11. There you go. Bloom youth. We're going to go ahead and take all. And here it is. We're going to equip the belt, equip the earrings. It even comes with the hair. There's some glasses here. There's even a hat. Shoes. I'm going to choose the skirt number two and also top number two. There we go. Check that out. How cool is that? Very chic, right? <laughs> Man, check out that swagger. Alright guys, that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more, and take care now.